yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a duffy on me, I'm feeling good. The streets talking to me in the hood. I'm doing this exactly how I should. What's not said is understood. Listen to me, I'm on my grind. No matter what, these haters mad. I gotta ask, why you mad at us? Cause I'm on the rise. Yeah, All right. Man, oh man, we are at the season finale. But y'all know what that means. We're not going to be gone too long because if you were watching last episode, we told y'all we're not going to be going long. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so yep. this is episode 10 of season two. So we're glad to have finally made it to the end. A little bit sad, a little bittersweet. But at the same time, I feel like Jovan and I both need to recharge. So this is a necessary or it's almost like it's perfect time. Um, not that we're overwhelmed or, or tired of the podcast, but uh, we got some other stuff to focus on and some good in a good way. Right. So. Um, we'll get into that as well. Um, before we get into it, though, y'all know we got the climber of the week. So our climber of the week this week. Sorry. OK, let me just address the elephant in the room. This is my puppy, Zuko. This dude is uh, usually when I'm doing my podcast, he's usually with Janelle. <laughs> Janelle is at, is coaching. OK, and as you can see, um, he's only 10 weeks <laughs> or 11 weeks old. So he's all over the place, but he's pretty quiet. So we're going to keep it that way. All right, but Climber of the Week is Amon Ramsey, in-house, AC member, our guy, right? So we'll have some pictures of him. That's our guy, Amon. And let me tell you why Amon is the Climber of the Week. He just finally got his airframe license. That's something he's been working towards for a while. He literally even texted me like a couple of months ago. was like, bro, bro, just I need your prayer. You know what I'm saying? You need some motivation. Like, man, I've been grinding trying to study for this airframe license. So just keep me in your thoughts. So then we finally found out this week that our Cuddy got his airframe right license. So that's definitely, you know what I'm saying? That's no questions asked. He's climber of the week. There ain't even a question. For sure. Um, yeah. So yeah. Shout out to you, Amon. For sure. Now, Jovan, let's get into the chunk of the, the conversation, man, because I know the people waiting. Um, future climbers, man. What's the future climbers program? Let's 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 drop some drop some knowledge on them. Let's give them everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, I feel like the community, um, just from what I've learned and what I've seen, I feel like the community gets a little competitive with serving others. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to have that one brand or something like, you know, and it's not really about that. It's about serving others, giving it, doing God's work. That's how I look at it, right? So I don't mind sharing yeah. what we do, you know what I'm saying, and what makes us special because I feel like we got something special. <clears throat> I don't mind sharing it. So let's go ahead and share it with them, man. Why, why, why? Why did we even make this model? You know what I'm saying? Why are we doing future climbers? What is future climbers? I'll let you answer what future climbers is real quick. Man, future climbers uh, was a concept that first originated for why we even wanted to do always climbing the project in the first place. And it's really just giving back to the community. Um, the biggest part of it, of course, is scholarships and, and giving the next generation a launch pad and, and what they can do and opportunities in Akron. So like the the thing that bothers me the most is people talk about Akron, like, oh, get out of Akron. You gotta, if you wanna do something really great, you gotta go outside of the city when we're just gonna make our own opportunities and show ex people like examples of entrepreneurs and people that have been successful within the city um, with their own brands or even just successful in a certain career path. So. That's one key, very, you know, strong key component of what's going to make this successful is collaborating with others. Like we said, we're not competitive. We want everybody to eat. Um, and that's that's for our next generation. We want them to see them succeed and hopefully make their own nonprofit one day or their own business um, that we can work with. Um, that's going to be successful and make the city a better place in the way they found it. Now, we also have the community service piece which is a huge component. Um, we have our own, you want me to talk about the project, like what they actually get to do within the- uh, uh, I can hit on it. Um, let me put him down. I hope he don't make no noise. So, you know, I feel like, you know, the, the community service piece and just the whole outlook of the Future Climbers program is a part of our Always Climbing project, but we obviously want to help out the community in any way we can. We want to help our youth out. Um, we want to put that mindset in their head that, like Jolan said, you can create opportunities here, right? Like you don't have to go to Cleveland or Canton um, to 
outreach, to help, to do things that you want to do, to be cool, right? You can do it all here. Um, okay, the squeaking is just not going to be acceptable. So <laughs> here's what we're going to do. You're going to come right back up here. I'm going to just deal with you. But so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and handle that and help out with that. And through community service, um, we want them to create their own community service project. So yep. um, we we were a part of my LC, the Mayor's Youth Leadership Council, um, formerly known as the Peace Akron Peacemakers. If anybody is old news and has heard it uh, a couple years ago when we were in high school or beyond um, or before, I should say, but it was called the Akron Peacemakers. It's rebranded into the Mayor's Youth Leadership Council. It's called My LC. Um, but when we were a part of that program in high school, I mean, we loved, loved, loved being a part of community service, uh, working with uh, council members, right, um, yep. in the city, working with the mayor directly. Uh, so we got that boost of confidence that like, yo, like we low key, man, we 15, 16, 17, and we really got a voice. Like we could really make these uh, this community better, right? But the yep. difference, here's the difference. And this is what Jovan was going to share. We did a lot of community service with, with my LC, a lot, many hours, but they set up the opportunities for us, right? And then we went to those opportunities that we served. We want to have the funds and in, in, in the, in the money so we can help these kids create their own community service. Like, hey, yep. uh, Bryce or whatever they want to call me, Mr. Harris, hey, we want to have like a, a team like bash, like block party. Um, yep. we don't have nothing like that, sir. Like we want to do that. Okay. What's the, what's the goal? Why do you want to do that? What do you think it'll help? How would it help our community? Well, our teens, we, we don't got nothing else to do. So that's why we run around with, with, with these, uh, these water jail guns and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they might say something like that. Or to be honest, everybody's scared to go somewhere because of violence. We want to just yep. do this block party, blah, 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 this and that. Okay. So we're going to help them structure that. We're going to help them formulate that. We're going to help them create that exact opportunity, exactly how they want it, how they want it, right? How they see it working with the food, the drink, the dance, the the, the songs, whatever they want, how they want to do it. Yeah, We're going to let them create it from the ground up. We're just going to help them guide. We're going to supervise. So that's the kind of the, the, the extra piece that we feel like we missed when we was in my LC. Um, and it's nothing against my LC because – they could provide crazy opportunities. I'm talking about we went to Chicago. A lot you know, of opportunities. But I would I just wish I I was able to take part in something that I created. So we was like, shoot, yeah. First of all, first of all, let's create something, which is AC. And then we was like, man, let's help let's help these kids create something too. Okay. So and that's a big part of what we're building is is the leadership component. Cause then when they actually get to coordinate their community service project, they're then having to lead their peers and organizing, hey, you're going to be doing this, how to delegate certain tasks and how the real world works and actually being um, a manager, managing something on their, of their own for the first time, for some right. of them for the first time. Right. Um, and so then to the next component to the, the Future Climbers program, we're going to do a lot of prep for jobs and, and career opportunities. Um, definitely resumes, helping them build a resume, create a interview LinkedIn, prep, interview prep, interview prep, headshots, and ultimately we want to get enough get enough money where everybody can get a suit. We don't want everybody to be cookie cutter. We don't want them all to be in a blazer and khakis. We want them to have their own flair, their own swag, their own style to it. So when they go into that that room, the meetings to meet with these these people, the council, whatever, meet the mayor of Akron, they can they can feel confident and 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 sh you know get in front of the mayor as that person that they are. When they see Jovan Fair, they, they want to see the aura, the energy, the swagger of Jovan, Jovan Fair when he first meets him. Correct. Or Bryce Harris. Now, is, and, 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 and and to speak to that, man, like there there is there is a, a sense of wow factor when everybody comes in wearing the same thing. So I do yep. see the other side. Like when we were in Decca, we all wore the same thing. It's like, yo, they they standing out. Like Decca's rocking, you know, the same blazer. Got to wear the khakis, man. They look sophisticated. It looks good when you uniform, right? But it right. also looks good when you sticking out. But we don't want them to necessarily stick out like prom, right? I ain't we ain't, right. ain't going to pay for them to have nice old shoes. But we want them to have one outfit of their liking that we know for a fact they will be able to utilize 
for their young adulthood as they go into college for interviews, as they get ready for um, their trade or whatever job they want to do right out of, outside of high school. We want to make sure they got at least one outfit, um, full full outfit for an interview, for any type of meeting um, that fits them. And that's kind of why we don't want to necessarily do the whole uniform piece. Like the uniform right. is cool, but no. We want something to have for when they are outside the program as well. Like they can yeah. feel comfortable wearing it yep. for any event. And so. then and then not to mention, one more thing that we're where we're doing is mentoring. Now, when I say mentoring, huge part. what you're assuming, I'm sure what you're assuming is we will be mentoring them. That's correct. But that's not what I'm talking about, right? So yeah. if anybody went to Firestone, you know about Falcon Friends. So we're trying to do something very similar to Falcon Friends. We're trying to get the future climbers into the middle schools and elementary schools in the future. And what that's going to yeah. look like is it's going to look like our high school. We're going to prep our high schoolers with their college and career readiness. We're going to prep them for all of that. And they are then going to be supervised and get taken down to these different schools. And they're going to provide that type of mentorship to them. They're going to provide a classroom type setting give them that type of guidance, almost like Falcon Friends, where they say, hey, today's topic, we're going to talk about bullying, right? Or today's topic, we're going to talk about uh, leadership. Today's topic, we're going to talk about conflict resolution. And our kids, our youth, our high schoolers are going to be able to teach these middle schoolers and elementary schools. How do I know it's possible? Because I was a part of a program very similar that is no longer a piece of Firestone. So we want to make that a piece of Firestone. And then you can call it, we can even call it Falcon Friends. That's fine. They go down to their cluster. Or... Then we start expanding. We go to Bookto. Then you got Bookto friends or Griffin fan friends, and they get to go down to Kraus, Schumacher, Helen Arnold, right? Um, and expanding and just build a community, a true community where we don't have as many kids going across the city to go to a different school just, just because of sports, right? They want to feel it, really be a Griffin. If you know what I'm saying, they went to Bookto Middle School. Now they really, really want to go to Bookto High School because they remember those Griffin friends or those future climbers that came and spoke to them about community, about their their school. So mentorship is a huge piece. But huge yes, piece. they're doing a lot of volunteering. Yes, they're creating their own volunteer opportunities. Yes, they're mentoring. Yes, it's volunteer. But at the same time, if they made it through all of that, we want to reward them with a stipend, um, not necessarily a pay. Um, it'd be a stipend or a scholarship, similar to what we did last year. When we did it last year, we gave three scholarships away to kids that were very deserving of, of it, right? They applied. They went through our application process. We want this to be more so uh, an active application, not so like so much essay, write it down. We wanted them to yeah. earn it from what we see. We're going to grade them. They're going to go through pre and post tests, everything. There's going to be surveys. And we feel like they they really, by their senior year and they graduate, that they have earned the Future Climber Scholarship, they will get that scholarship. Um, so we're looking forward yeah. to that, too. Obviously, yeah, got to have some funds, but that's kind of our yeah. big, big plan. Yeah. So, I mean, the great thing about it is, I mean, of course, they get the stipend, too. But it, that's just so cool to put on their resume. Like, Always Climbing Project and what I got to do, coordinate a, 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 um, a volunteer opportunity for my peers do X, Y, and Z, met with these people, these people, connections, learn how to network. That is, um, it's something that you really don't get um, within a school district. You know what I mean? Like there's some tutoring programs or whatever, but from my time growing up, I'd never got something that well-rounded and that holistic. Mm -hmm. um, Cause we also touch on financial management, financial literacy, uh, managing money, budgeting, like all that stuff is going to be within the le our lesson plans. Um, but like you mentioned, um money is a part of it uh so i think a big part of what we're we're about to roll out is merchandise so uh, what a lot of people need to understand is when they buy a hoodie when they buy uh, always climbing shirt they're it's almost like they're buying stock in a student scholarship because mm -hmm. you're you're paying for the next generation to succeed that's what you're that's what you're getting out of it so you're you're doing a good deed and you get some dope gear out of it right my right. man Bryce is the designer. He gets he gets us right. I'm just saying it's it's some it's some good stuff if you go on the website. Um, Check it out. Look at it. Check it out. My yep. favorite. My favorite personally is is probably the keep climbing shirt. Um, but the hoodie's hard. Um, I definitely like the hoodie. Man, I like it all for real. But um, me too. We gonna add some more. The no much. excuses. The no excuses is hard for sure. There's yeah. a lot. There's yeah. a really a lot of stuff on there. So make sure y'all check it out. And like he said, you know. 
Um, the proceeds go toward, straight towards the project um, and ma many different avenues, but it goes it goes to the to the project. So, um, yeah, what we what we also want to do is we want to do a couple community service things in the future. Uh, some of them will be fundraisers. Others will be straight up service to the, to the community. Um, you know, like, say we were to do like a basketball tournament maybe get a lot of adults involved, maybe like an adult tournament and then also have like a youth tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you it, three on three basketball teams or something, you know, pay a, pay a specific fee. Obviously the, 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 some of the proceeds will go to the venue that we rent out or whatever. And then the rest goes to the project. So, um, you know, just things like that, be on the lookout for, if you want to help mm -hmm. out, if there's any recommendations, any support that you think you can give us, uh, don't hesitate to rest, reach out because we need that, right? We really do need that. Um, and then, and then the last thing that we wanted to talk about before we wrap up this quick episode was season three. What to expect with the podcast? Okay. Um, first and foremost, uh, you know, especially with us being us, the two of us specifically being from football background, we got no problem um, owning up to. Uh, fallbacks what's the word i'm looking for uh things that areas for of growth right and the one thing that jovan and i both agreed on this season we wanted to give you all a little bit more consistency right so um with the takeaways or and we used to do the um the tiktok reels every week um it really is a two-man show uh so you know we don't have no production assistance or nothing like that so we slipped up with that for sure this season. So yeah. uh, season three, we definitely want to make sure that's a little bit more consistent for our viewers and for our listeners. Um, so be on the lookout for that coming season yeah. three. When is season three? Rough date. Um, I would say maybe in three weeks, up to a month, no more than a month. So what's today's date as we record this? Okay. Today, as we record this is Thursday, the 13th um, of October. So you will get a, a, your first episode of season three no later than i would say november 11th which is or no november 13th which is a sunday um and that's at the latest okay but but there's a reason why there's a reason why we're taking there's a break a, and yeah. my boy jovan got some great news to tell y'all so jovan i'll let you go yeah. ahead and tell them because um this is exciting for sure yeah for all the people that's watching that's from temple i just want to say thank you of course for all the time that y'all spent um, grooming me for this new opportunity that I have. Um, it's always gonna be home, play football there, of course, and and done a, set a whole bunch of uh, records there and, and had so many great opportunities as a student and then got so many great opportunities to my first full-time job, um, being there as, the, as an academic advisor. Um, but I got a new opportunity to be an assistant director and work as an academic counselor at Penn State working with football. So I'm really excited about that. I just need a little bit of time to to make that transition, get adjusted. That's also a little bit why we've been a little off on our social media page, which um, on my end, I need to tighten up, which I'll, you know, own up to that. But um, I'm excited about the, the transition, um, as is all my my climbers and um, all my, my support behind me. But uh, we're going to get through it pretty fairly quickly and uh, get the show back on the road. So yep. um, it's a great yep. opportunity for me. So, Oh, yeah, for sure. And that's huge. And, and I wanted to give Jovan Climber of the Week, but, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta shout out Amon because Amon did something huge too. But Jovan, I knew yep. Jovan was going to have his opportunity to share that. So really, to be honest, they both Climbers of the Week because that's – I mean, that's huge. You know what I'm saying? Jovan's about to make this yep. transition. And my cut, he's going to be – Closer to Akron, he gonna be able to get in, get a little bit more involved with AC in person, yep. right? Because yeah, Jovan's transition, a lot's going on. But to be honest, AC wise, I mean, future climbers wise, up at Firestone, we still rolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm sitting here, y'all see, I got the uh, the polo on right now. I was just up there um, for yep. football practice, so we're still rolling. Ryan Hall and I, we're gonna be running the future climbers program. Um, we're just waiting on a start date, so. Jovan will be able to come in now and, and help out a little bit more. Since he's not in Philly, now he's a little bit closer. So that'll be exciting. Um, Pop in every once in a while. I'm excited about that, man. Yeah. Very so, excited to be close to home. Yeah. So y'all just be be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. And 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 don't don't go too far because season three is coming. All right. 
Um, but until then, what they can keep climbing. They can keep climbing. They can hop on the website. They can get some merch. They can just go to the. You don't want no merch? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for everybody. But when you can, there still is a donate tab, right? Come, come show love. Come show love. Because once we start rolling, we're gonna need as much funds as possible. And the more we get, the more they get, right? So um, yep. we appreciate everybody. We really do. Keep climbing. Share. Like. Comment. Subscribe. Do all of that. Um, I don't even know what song I'm about to play. I do know this dude finally fell asleep. Uh, as soon as I move, <laughs> as soon as I move, I wasn't even trying to pick him up. And now he all tea. Now he tea. <laughs> we finna say goodbye. Goodbye. Peace out, y'all. Love y'all. Peace out. Only focus going. on my career instead of your own. Only focus on that 2K and that war zone. And the crazy part about it is you see no wrong I highly doubt you see yourself sitting on the throne Yeah, you mentally trapped What would you do if the demons came back? Think about it mentally, tell me how you would react Would you try to run away or would you try to attack? If they was running in your lane, could you stay on the track? Nah, now let that sink in You don't know how to glide in the wind You only know how to survive when you win And you don't know how to repent when you sin